everybody welcome back to the brand new video today we're taking a look at the brand new release of 2022 select this comes out on friday june 24th and we'll be ripping a couple cases of these live on friday night so i hope you're able to join us for that we also have a brand new release of 2022 onyx as well if you'd like to check that out uh, that's coming to the channel soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. We post videos every single day. And uh, also there's a notification bell. So if you tap on that and click all, you'll get notified via the YouTube app every time we go live or post a new video. So let's tell you a little, about, little bit about the set. We've got Fernando Tatis Jr. on the front of the box. The select set includes 300 base cards. They're divided up into three different tiers, base, premier and diamond level they all have different designs so if you're not sure the base design has kind of like a zebra background the premier kind of has like a color burst background and the diamond level well it kind of has the shape of a diamond behind the player we'll take a look at those in a minute when we start breaking these out also we're looking for ultra rare color wheel inserts and more those inserts are the color wheel the lightning strikes and the rookie explosions so if you find any of those Make sure you top load those up right away. Keep them safe and sound. So let's go ahead and rip into this. Our first box is for William and also, as always, with selectors, four hits per box. So two autographs and two memorabilia cards as well. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully the autos are good. Hopefully they're not all just no-name guys. By the way, there's five cards per pack, 12 packs per box, so... I'm hoping for at least one really good autograph in here. These boxes, by the way, if you're thinking about grabbing one of these for yourself, these boxes run approximately $150 or so at most places, between $140 and $150. So here's your design. We have the Brandon Marsh card leading things off, and then there's Aaron Savali. We've got Harrison Bader, there's Aroldis Chapman, and the last one, Frank Schwindel, is the final card right there from the Cubbies. Next pack up, Brandon Marsh rookie card right there, of course. A lot of us are going to be keeping our eyes out for Wander Franco. There's Brandon Lowe to start things off, or Lau, I should say, Tyler Stevenson, and we have a red Tyrone Taylor, and it is numbered out of 199. So there's some color that you're going to be seeing in here as well. Color is always nice to get some parallels. Maybe we'll do this in a Saturday showdown at some point. Maybe as early as uh, Saturday, I guess. I'm doing this Thursday night. I figured I was going to do this at midnight, but I'm doing an auction tonight. So uh, I figured I'd just film it now and get it done. We have our first hit. It's out of 49. It is a moonshot autograph of Wilson Contreras. So a nice one right there. Wilson Contreras moonshot. And Jose Altuve right there at the back of the pack. I wonder if Altuve's reputation will ever recover. People still seem to not like him too much. Also, if you're wondering about Julio Rodriguez, uh, unfortunately, J-Rod is not in this. Although uh, Bobby Witt Jr. does have a card in here. Just talking about some of the big two. Bobby Witt Jr. has an autograph card. Actually, it's a color wheel uh, so if you find a Bobby Wood Jr. color wheel, that's a pretty good hit for sure. I'm going to be looking for some retail this weekend, hoping to find some, there's our next tip, by the way, a nice Atomic Camilo Doval numbered out of 25. Nice looking card right there for William. I'm going to hopefully, and Fuego card the back there, Bryce Harper insert. Looking for some Series 2 retail. Now, Series 2 came out on June 10th, and we still have yet to see any blaster boxes or anything anywhere. They're weeks behind on getting the retail. I do believe that this is the weekend that they were saying that the retail should catch up with the hobby. So I'll go out um, and uh, hunt and see if I can find a blaster box, do a little retail review for you guys. It would be pretty nice. There's Luke Williams as the next one. So, so far, the Contreras was the best hit in this box. There's one more autograph due to us. We've got an Ozzy Albies out of 99. Whit Merrifield right there, Jake Berger as well, Nicky Lopez, and Ozzy Albies. Nice green at the back for William. Next pack up. We've, we've got two full boxes left to go. There, Oh, man. For just a second, I thought that said Cal Ripken. I saw the Cal. I saw the R. Instead, it's Cal Rally. Sparks autograph. So, Lou Brock right there at the back. Those are the four hits. 
Did we get $150 back in this box? I would say definitely not. That's the way the boxes go sometimes. Hey, there's Lars Newt Bar. Um, basically, you got to get that big hit to get the, you know, get your money back. And um, this one just didn't do it, unfortunately. Sorry, William. We'll see if we can find something good in the next box. Box number two coming up right now. This one is for Brett. By the way, if you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, participate, buy a box for me to open up in the video, check out our Patreon. We sell all of our video spots on Patreon. If you'd like to check it out, it's $4.99 per month. And the higher tiers get access to our breaks and or not our breaks sorry get uh monthly packages i was just looking i got distracted i was looking across the room at my 51 dollar tier which um a little more participants on the 51 dollar tier this month so i actually ran out of gypsy queen blaster boxes maybe i'll run over there and show you uh the last 50 on the 51 dollar tier what they're getting stay tuned for that i did run out of blaster boxes so i'm sending you something else for the last 51. All right, we've got a Tyler McGill right there. Nice big old patch. It is also a numbered out of 250 for Brett Lippin Bass. So we get our hit out of the way right away in the very first pack, at least one of our four hits. By the way, Fernando Tatis on the front of the box. Kind of cool. I guess Select was expecting him to be back right around this time. He should hopefully be back soon. We got a George Spring out of 199. Next pack up. In the meantime, CJ Abrams has been called up a few days ago. Next up, we've got Rodolfo Castro, Brian Reynolds from the Buccos, and an Atomic of Jamer Condelario. It's the last card there, numbered out of just 25. So a nice low numbered card there for Brett. Next, we've got En Fuego, David Fletcher's on the front. We've got Jamer, and there's Castellanos En Fuego insert card. So two autographs are coming at us any time now. This one might have the hit. It should have the, 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 the relic hit because it's thicker. It's Otto Lopez out of uh, 250. So another thing I, that I've noticed with Select and actually all Panini products this year that have relics inserted, I noticed it beginning with Donruss and also with Diamond Kings, no spacers. So I guess the spacers they've done away with. So if you, know, if you have anybody out there that goes to the local card store, um, and would want to find the relic hit, they could literally just pick up a pack. You don't even have to really do a whole lot of rocket signs. This one has a hit in it as well. It's a thicker, it's Alejandro Kirk. That'll be a relic auto. Nice one right there, Alejandro Kirk, but it's just unfortunate that it's so easy. Um, here's another hit pack. Felt thicker upon picking it up, and there it is. It's Angel Zerpa. Um, numbered out of 199 so i'm kind of hard pressed to figure out what the best hit is in this one maybe the alejandro kirk since it's an autograph next up we've got uh pablo lopez who's having a great start to his career and it might just all be base cards the rest of the way here but i don't know this pack feels thicker here too so let's see maybe a bonus hit we got ryan mcmahon on the back and uh, you can see it's thicker there because instead of just five cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a seven card pack. And we have a Ryan McMahon select that's going to be numbered out of 20. So a nice concourse select out of 20 of McMahon. Next, Connor Seabold. There's Brandon Marsh, rookie card, Dylan Cease. And our final pack for Brett. And then we'll get into our final box so far. These boxes have not equaled the uh, you know the, the the value or the buying of the box. We're over for two in terms of getting our money back here. So it's going to be up to our final participant of this video. It's Jack. Good luck, Jack. Let's see what we can find for you here. So far, the autos are lacking. No big names. We'll be opening a whole case. Sometimes you might go through an entire case and have one big autograph in there, and the rest are kind of crappy. Might be a Mike Trout or Ken Griffey Jr. or something like that in there, but let's see if Jack can bring us some good luck. Here we go, final one of the preview video. Now, tomorrow I'm gonna bring you the Onyx. I'm gonna do the 2022 Onyx as an entire case. There's only four cards per box, so I figured, oh, let's do it all together and do an entire case break. There's a Louis Heel out of 50 rookie card right there. So the rookie class primarily is pretty similar to what you saw in series one with Select. 
not a whole lot of new names. There's Bryce Harper right there, good picture. And we've got Luke Williams. It's gonna be numbered out of 149 for you, Jack. Next pack up, I got a moonshot, Jose Abreu. We saw the moonshot earlier with an autograph on it from Contreras, and unfortunately that one is not going to have an autograph on it, but this one is gonna be a thicker pack, so this one should have a, a relic in it or an autograph. Let's see what we've got. We've got Drew Ellis. Drew Ellis, big old patch right there, and then Fuego, Raphael Devers to go along with him. Next pack up, no autograph in here, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky and find one of those color wheels, um, the super rare um, lightning strikes or the rookie explosions. And we have nothing but commons in that one. Yamankata out of 199. Let's see if we can get lucky with this. Curtis Terry on the back. There's Vladdy on the front. Jonathan India. So some nice players in here. Also, by the way, they put some throwbacks in there. You see Eddie Perez. Not Eddie Perez. Wouldn't that be something if Eddie Perez was on a card right now as a throwback? Greg Maddox's personal catcher there from all those years with the Braves. That was Eddie Matthews. Still brave. And we have an Yvonne Rodriguez on the back. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. The O'Neill Cruz as well. O'Neill Cruz, who's been the talk of the town around here in Pittsburgh and uh, also across the country. People are starting to take notice of O'Neill Cruz. I told you guys he's going to be good. Tons of power. Is the ball off the bat of this guy? It seems like he averages like 110 miles an hour off the bat, like every single hit. Throws the ball across the diamond at about 96, 97 miles an hour. And uh, six foot seven shortstop. He's really lanky. He's going to fill out in those power numbers. I feel like if he can just make consistent contact, the guy has 40 home run potential easy if he plays a full season and makes consistent contact. And he plays shortstop also. So that's a great card right there going to Jack. We are still due, if I'm not mistaken, two final autographs. Take a look at my stack here. Yeah, we got two relics. Let's see if we can go out with a bang here in this preview video with something good to take us into our live stream. There's Tristan McKenzie. We've got three packs left. Nothing in terms of autographs yet. Here we go. Here we go. Jose Devers, numbered out of 299, is going to be the autograph. Unfortunately, big old print line across the uh, front of it, big old roller line. I always hate it when I see that, and I know you guys do as well. Two packs left. We've got Shohei Otani, Marcus Semyon right there. And the autograph is going to be a Greg Diekman out of 25, Atomic Sparkle. So that is our last autograph of the video. So 0 for 3 in terms of any decent autographs, like big names coming out of here. I wish I had a big name for you, but I guess that's going to have to wait until we rip open the rest of the case live on Friday night. So join us for that. There's still plenty of spots available if you'd like to check that one out. And thanks for checking this one out. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. Check out our auction if you'd like to. I have a consignment box of cards from Series 2 that we'll be auctioning off. And you know if that doesn't fill up the full two and a half hour auction, I'll pull some from my own personal collection and auction them off as well. Have a great rest of your evening. Check us out tomorrow. We'll have another new release of Onyx and then live stream tomorrow night. And then, of course, the Saturday showdown coming up for you as well. So until then, have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.